Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning in verse 22. Now Jesus, or I should say God, here in Corinthians is comparing the body of Christ, all Christians that make up the mystical body of Christ across the whole world. He is comparing us as individual members of Jesus's body to our physical bodies and how all the parts are essential. So he continues with that in verse 22, nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. So what God is saying here is that there is not one unimportant part of our human body. If somebody thinks that some part is useless, well, they don't know. It's their own ignorance. They don't know, maybe, why it's there, but it's there for some reason. Or God would not have made it, and he says it right here. Every part of the human body is necessary. Every part has a role to play in to make in us the most efficient and best human being that we can be physically. And that's the way it is in the church of Jesus Christ also. God has chosen to use each one of us who are in the body of Christ, the universal church, the mystical body of Christ, not a church with walls, just a universal church, God has chosen to use each one of us who are in that body of Christ so that the church, the universal body of Christ, can function as it should. We all have a part to play. And we all need to be ourselves and do what we can be or do what we can and be what we can be the best that we can for God, for Jesus. 23, and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we do bestow, bestow more abundant honor. And our uncomely parts, or modest parts, have more abundant comeliness. So decency demands that certain parts of our body should not be seen in public. So we give them special honor by covering them up. 24. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, heaven giving more abundant honor to the part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. So most parts of our body are no big deal, right? We don't have any need to treat them with special care. God has designed every part of our body to be dependent upon all the other parts, though, which gives honor to every part of our body because we need it all. We need every part. Every part of our body is needed for the harmony of our entire body. Therefore, carrying over this comparison. Christians should all do their part. Every Christian needs to fulfill their purpose that God has given them. They need to fulfill their purpose for God and in the process help one another serve Jesus Christ. That's part of God's purpose. All Christians are connected in the Spirit. I'm talking about people who are genuinely saved. They're all connected in the Spirit. So we're going to either have a good effect or a bad effect on the entirety of the body of Christ, depending on how we behave. If we're filled with the Holy Spirit, walking in the Spirit, close to Jesus, somehow, some way, we might not even know how, but we're going to have a positive effect on the rest of the body of Christ. If we walk in the flesh, somehow, some way, we're going to cause trouble. Study all of God's Word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com to be a part of Coffee Break. Pray for me and God's Word. And when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, Prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.